Okay, this is part two of the portable NES tutorial. I did say we would use no we would be removing the RF box, but I have I did receive my uh soldering iron through the mail, but I did not get a desoldering iron yet. So until then, that'll be covered in part three, but now we shall start part two. So you're going to want a flathead screwdriver for this part, and you're going to want a pair of these. You can use pliers too, but I think these would work better, but pliers are recommended as well. So now, take your flathead screwdriver, and you want to stick it under this piece of plastic. And then you want to bend up till it sort of pops off. Or you can just remove it like this. So yeah, then you're going to want to remove this too, so you're going to want to pry this off too with your flathead screwdriver, and that's going to be a little tough to get off too. So you, you want to be careful with this as well because... Anyway, until we can get that done, we want to take this... And we're going to want to remove these controller parts and this power plug. So take this and sh set it on there and just pull back pretty hard until it comes off. And then you want to take this, do the same for the other controller port, and pull off. And last but not least, you're going to want to take this. You're gonna pull that off. This was power and reset. So we can try one more time to get this off. So put your flathead screwdriver under there and pry upward, being careful not to damage the board. Well, it's not coming off, so I'm gonna have to use a different tool instead of this screwdriver to get this off. Well, remember you need a soldering iron and you're also going to need a desoldering iron. And you can use this, and, but you're also going to want a pair of pliers. Actually, you can try this and pull it off like that. That's not working either. So, I guess we'll use the desoldering iron and soldering iron for this plastic. Well, until part 3, or if there is a part 2.5, thanks for watching and subscribe.